Hey, Kurt here, and I wanted to show you my new favorite toy, Shopify Flow. It's a uh, free app if you're on Shopify Plus or you have a development store. So a development store um, is a, a free store that, which you, uh, you can't place orders, but uh, you could do a lot of work in there for testing. So we use them for um, developing themes, testing apps, etc. And if you're a Shopify partner, you can make development stores. So it's an easy, free way to get to play with this wonderful tool, Shopify Flow. Or, of course, you can upgrade to Shopify Plus. And right now, I think Shopify, Fl Shopify Flow, it's hard to say quickly, Shopify Flow is Shopify Plus's killer feature, their literal killer app. So let's, not literal, but it is their killer app. Let's check it out. I've set it up for a couple plus clients now, and I wanted to show it to you here. So um, once it's installed, you just go to Apps, Shopify Flow, and then choose a workflow. And what Shopify Flow does is it's an automation platform, and it lets you perform actions that normally someone would have to do manually. It now does automatically. So right now uh, in your Shopify store, you have uh, risk analysis where Shopify will say, this is low, medium, or high risk. But it doesn't actually do anything with that information. It's up for, to you to check it and make a decision on it. We can actually automate that. So in like a store that gets a few orders today, you can manually review it, no problem. If you're getting more than that, or you just don't want to spend the time on it, you can now automate it with Shopify Flow. So we have to start with the trigger. There's always an event that makes the automation flow happen. So in this case, uh, it's going to be order created. And then you can choose uh, conditions and actions as to what happens next. Normally we could do order created, then action. But here we only want to do something if our risk level is high. So we're going to add a condition. Let's choose our condition here is if, and then we could search, make our life easy, risk level is equal to high. Yes, then let's add an action. And that action is cancel the order. And we're going to restock the item since it never got fulfilled. And we can even send a notification to the customer. And under reason, to be polite, you might want to choose other. Or you could just say fraudulent order flat out. Um, you could also send an email to yourself with this send email down here. Or even integrate it with Slack and send a Slack message. So if you're working in a team environment, that Slack message is very cool. All right. Then, so we say if yes then cancel order. But what if it's not a high risk order? Well, it could be a medium risk order. In which case, let's change uh, if risk level is medium, then let's add an action, which is we're not gonna do anything with a customer's order. We're just gonna send an email to, we'll say me at store.com, subject, order. Let's add a template variable. It gives us a whole bunch we can find in here and use. So we'll say order ID needs review. Uh, flagged as medium risk, please review. And then we could add template variables and include you know, the full order information if we wanted to. That should be useful. And then lastly, what if it's low? All right, well, if order risk low, then let's add an action. Let's just go ahead and we'll, in that case, we'll capture the payment. And there, we're set. Now we've actually done something useful with that risk level analysis that's, that's built into Shopify. So let's save our workflow, call it risk analysis. Makes sense, right? And close it. Uh, they also have a, there's a test tool where you could preview it, see if it works right. Um, but that's pretty useful. And it gives you stats on it. Oh yeah, so more, uh, is it in here? No. So there's somewhere you could preview it. And anyway, let's go back and make one other. I'll show you a marketing example that we like. So let's create our workflow. So in a Shopify theme, if a customer is logged in, you can show different things to them based on whether or not they're logged in. You can also show different things to them based on, uh, say, tags on the customer field. So in the past, you would have to, uh, for this to work right, you'd have to tag the customers individually. That's not too useful, but we can do it instead um, with Shopify Flow. So let's say you've got an apparel store, sells men's and women's items. Every time someone purchases a men's item, we could tag the men's every time they purchase a women's item, tag them women's. Maybe if every time they buy socks, we tag them socks. And then what do we do? When they return to the site, we can, and they're logged in, we can show a new featured collection on the homepage that only they see that is relevant to them. So if they were tag men's, show them the newest men's stuff. If they were tag socks, show them the newest socks. 
So let's work with that. Let's try um, how that would work right now. So we'll say add a trigger when a order is created and our condition, we only got to find it if it's socks. So we'll say if uh, line items include uh, product title, where's title? Title of the product. There we go. And then this is just, you should recognize this, very familiar. It's like in um, uh, our smart collection. So we'll say if title includes socks. Then we have to add an action. Add customer tags. So this is going to tag the customer with something. So we'll say socks. And we'll say it tag sock lovers. Boom. So now every time someone buys an item that has socks in the title, they're going to get tag socks. And then in theory, we could use that to quickly find uh, and export a list of customers that have socks if we wanted to send a newsletter to them. Uh, or in this, the thing I'm suggesting is when a customer uh, is to modify the theme so that when a customer is logged in, we then show them a specific collection of socks since we know they are likely to buy socks. They bought them in the past. I think that's kind of neat. Um, lots of tons of possibilities here. If you have a neat use for Shopify Flow, please tell me. I'm all ears. Love to hear it. And if you need, of course, help with Shopify Plus or Shopify Flow, just get in touch with me, uh, ethercycle.com slash contact.